Hey there, and welcome to the Hawkridge Systems Pro Tips for Technical Communications. Regardless if you're brand new to SOLIDWORKS Composer or you've been using it for years, sometimes it's that one little tip, that one little trick that once mastered, you'll never go back to the old way of doing things. I cherry picked three of my top Composer tricks, and here they are. Curvature detection, copy transformation, and customizable detail views. To enable curvature detection, all you have to do is hold down the Alt key and by using Translate or Rotate, which are both located under the Move section of the Transform tab, Curvature Detection allows you to translate or rotate an object along any model edge, regardless of the direction. In Composer, you are typically bound by the local or world axis. However, a simple press of a button opens up the entire model for translation options. This is a simple trick, yet a super powerful one. And now that we have translated some stuff around, let's move on to my most favorite trick, which is Copy Transformation. Copy Transformation is located under the Align section of the Transform tab. It is something I use all the time and something every Composer Pro should know about. Just like Curvature Detection, it's a super easy trick that will set you apart from the amateurs. All you need to do is select something you want to move and then select something that has already moved. And the first selection will copy that transition from the second selection. Note the blue status bar at the bottom left of the screen. It will let you know when it's time to make that second selection. Copy transformation works with any part that has moved away from its neutral position and it doesn't matter how it was moved. It could have been translated, rotated, or even exploded. It could work on any part at any time. It could be six months since the initial transition and all that matters is that at one point that component did move. Last, but definitely not least, is the detailed view. The detailed view is located in the Technical Illustration Workshop under the Publishing section. To make a detailed view, first tick the box next to the detailed view option. Once activated, the view capture circle can be relocated and resized in order to capture a specific area of the model. If parts are selected within the circle, They'll be isolated once the detail view is captured. Detail views are a vector and can capture colored regions and or shadows. Once captured, the line width can be adjusted from the properties pane. The best part about the detail view is that you can capture internal components. To do this, mouse over the parts you want to hide and press the tab button on the keyboard. This will temporarily hide components and let you make internal selections. The tab key is temporary hide, and once you finish the operation, all hidden components will become visible, and the vector detail will retain its attachment back to the parts location. Utilizing just these three pro tricks, you can take a typical illustration to that next level. Sometimes it's the little things that can make a big impact and set your publications apart from the rest. Simple tricks like holding down the Alt key to detect model edges for translation. Using the copy transformation to repurpose any previous model movement and utilize the vector-based detail view to precisely define your technical publications is the difference between a set of assembly instructions and a clear and easy to follow assembly guide. This video is part one of a three-part video series for SOLIDWORKS Technical Communications. If you enjoyed it, please check out video two and three covering first article inspection reports in SOLIDWORKS inspection and photorealistic renderings using SOLIDWORKS Visualize Professional.